but we use the word spiritual very in a very general way. Nobody can define in somebody's head what they mean when they say spiritual. Most people use it because it's a culture jargon, and so everybody uses it, whether they mean the same thing as you mean when you use it or not. It's it's a part of the language, mm -hmm. and without without one meaning. Mm -hmm. um, um, so people are different based on. Their, their folk ways and mores and the things they do within a confined area. Mm -hmm. So that's the only point that I, I meant when I said that, you know, that people are different. Okay, so they're biologically the same, physically and biologically the same? Anatomically, they're the same. Well, anatomically, they're similar, not the same, similar. Okay, now, what do you mean by not the same, but similar? The physical makeup of the... the Hottentots is different than the physical makeup of a Mexican, for example. Mm -hmm. The physical profile is different. Are there other things? So that's that an anatomical difference. Okay. The spirituality is different because of the makeup of the person and the way they perceive life and nature is going to be different. Mm -hmm. Certainly not going to be the same with a Hottentot and a Mexican, for example, if we can make it that broad. Therefore, their difference is based on the environment in which the person is brought up and the, and, the, and the perception that the person has of their environment and their culture and how they utilize their culture. Mm -hmm. It's going to be different. And the food types that they, that they eat. That, you know, your food makes a lot of difference in how you perceive things. And, of course, mm -hmm. the culture does, too. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I was really just trying to get at it as a closeout item. Uh, um, Dr. Brown, um, you you indicated that uh, all of us are not here for the same purpose. I mean, races of people, uh, cultures of people. Um, can you kind of uh, elaborate on that a little bit? Without giving the purposes, I, I'll just say that um, I, I was merely uh, hinting at the fact that there are certain cultures that dominate the world now. The Caucasian both happen to be dominating the world and they are uh, they are managing the world by a certain mindset mm -hmm. and from the history that I've read and what I have seen is that uh, they tended to come and dominate other cultures and take and, and infiltrate into other cultures and then take on that particular cultural kind of style as they integrate into those cultures <clears throat> and they control them when they get inside when they get enough foothold in there they control those particular cultures or take over them or dominate them for the most part um so their whole thing is 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 domination you know i mean like somebody said domination deception destruction and death uh the four d's so that world that's a thing that people have observed in that group worldwide it tends to be the same thing and that that's why I'm using the word purpose their purpose is to dominate you know cultures or peoples throughout the world and uh, when you dominate somebody then they have to be the suppressed one or the oppressed ones and the person who's doing the dominating have to be the the oppressor or the person who's suppressing mm -hmm. and so they are more or less um, exhibiting a mindset when they do that mm -hmm. in a culture mm -hmm. and that's where they are throughout the world and I said that maybe they will carry that out for a certain length of time based on how things move how karma moves in the earth and then when they fulfill that purpose mm -hmm. for which they were put here then that will be the end of them like other cultures are gone and other people said have, have disappeared or gone. Uh, you know, I mean, that's just a general way of looking at it. Um, and then maybe the original people will come back to 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 rule again. You know, you've heard that expression, Ethiopia will stretch forth her hand again. Mm -hmm. She will rule again. And I really believe that. And it may be a very slow process. I may be gone when that comes about. But I think that that will come about through a slow process. It's not going to be a direct takeover because things don't work like that in, in cultural uh, environments. Mm -hmm. So they're fulfilling a purpose now, and that is to dominate cultures 
and set up their own mindset within that culture. And before you know it, that culture has changed to their mindset. I want to talk a little bit about cloning. Um, what is cloning? How does it work? What's the process? How long does it take? Well, the, the mere fact of cloning comes out of scientific research, uh, and cloning has been going on for a long time, where in, in the modern way, scientifically, of looking at it is that you take a cell, a given cell, you pluck the nucleus out of that cell because the nucleus has all the genetic information there. You would not have anything going on unless you did, had a nucleus there to do that thing. Chromosomes are there. Hereditary traits are encoded and the genes are there that make for hereditary traits to be transmitted from one generation to the other through offsprings. If you take cells and you take the nucleus out, you denude the nucleus of the cell. Now it is a enucleated cell and you take the nucleus out of the desired cell and you replace that, put that, place that nucleus in the one from which you took the nucleus out of and now place these cells in an environment where they can develop, mm -hmm. then you will have a different kind of specific uh, uh, offspring from that uh, particular cell and we call that cloning. Cloning simply means you do not allow the cell that has a natural nu 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 nucleus to do what it's supposed to do to bring forth a new life. Instead, you substitute a strange, a foreign nucleus with its genes into a cell that has other things that it needs to nourish itself. You've taken the main genetic portion out and left the cell with one half of what it needs, and that is the other things that are in the cytoplasm, etc. So you place the strange nucleus with its own genetic information in there. And so now you allow that to go into, for example, a surrogate mother and develop into a new life. Then that we consider a clone. Clone simply, again, means that, that, that the parent cell brings forth daughter cells that are like the parent cell, containing the same genetic information as the parent cell. That's the regular way. But when you take the nucleus out of a cell, then and place another nucleus in that cell, then you don't have the same genetic information as the parent cell anymore. And that's a clone. That's a clone. Now when they cloned Dolly, they denuded the cell, meaning they enucleated the cell, <clears throat> but they used whole cells from the udder, that is from the cow's tits, they use those cells and they put that, that nucleate, those whole cells in contact with these cells that they had de uh, enucleated mm -hmm. and they did it forcibly with electri electric shock, jolts, jolts mm -hmm. of electricity, forcing those cells to, to um, coalesce with the cells, the strange cells to coalesce together so that they can now go ahead and go through the processes that cells go through. And that's what, and, and put it into a surrogate mother, and that's what Dolly came from. No, it's a laboratory process. So, the, how long would it take uh, that cell to, to it's, develop it's, into it's, it's the same? It's, it's the same as any other cell. It has to go through certain processes in order to. Has to, it grow the same? Yeah, everything is the same. Only thing you did, you manipulated the, uh, the cell, the nucleus of the cell. Which is which runs into some ethics, you know, as far as certain people, you know, the government, the FDA, and so on, the other organizations that are are fighting to to prevent people from manipulating cells. It's an ethical issue. So yes, the cell goes through the same processes that it normally goes through mm -hmm, mm -hmm. after you've done that particular work. 